who killed Aubrey Lopez. Sadly, his family may never know. Despite sitting in court for the past two weeks listening to testimonies from several individuals, including his former girlfriend, the man accused of pulling the trigger has been exonerated. Following a lengthy deliberation on Wednesday evening, a jury of 12 found Paul Jex innocent of murder. News of the unanimous verdict has stunned the Lopez family. Aubrey's father, Mayor Simeon Lopez, despite maintaining his composure, is nonplussed. I try to be as normal and try to take it as manly as I could. Um, my wife sort of broke down after the verdict and so I was and my emotion did come up a little bit so I escorted her out of the courtroom along with my with my daughter. That was the only emotion I had because of, of how my, my wife reacted to the to the verdict. No? Um, but besides that I try to, to be strong for the support of the family. The main witness, still a minor at the time of the tragic shooting, for fear of his life, submitted a written statement which was later entered into evidence. The prosecution, however, was relying on a testimony from the dock where he could have been cross-examined. It is uncertain what bearing, if any, his presence in court would have had on the decision. If I believe that justice did not take its course here, physically, I know that it will be served someday. Justice will be served someday, not by me, not by my family, but by a higher power. I, my and my family's only concern was to get the truth and the whole truth. As far as we now know, we will never know who killed Arbery and why. Lopez had been informed that the murder trial would be conducted in the absence of a jury. Somehow, that did not happen. Yes, it is true that I was informed um, casually, because uh, it was a casual conversation I had. Um, and I was informed that this will be one of the cases that will be tried without jury. Um, so, but when I got into the courtroom on the 28th of January when the, when the um, trial began. Um, a panel was selected. Of the 12 member panel, seven of them were men, the others were women. After listening intently to the merits of the case, the jury was not sold on the idea that Paul Jex was indeed the person who executed the star athlete in cold blood. Their decision now leaves the most important question unanswered. Lopez, on the other hand, remains puzzled as to whether Arbery's killer has also met a similar fate. I know I have been informed maybe two, one and a half, two years ago by, a, by an anonymous email to my phone, or, or not email, but message, text message to my phone that the person who killed my son has, had been shot in the least city and killed. I, I brought it up to the family. He said, well, the only comment was, well, you live by the gun, you die by the gun. Um, but um, I did not really, really settle for that. I still wanted to see a trial um, and see what would have been the outcome. That individual is said to have been Charles Woodai. Though his name was never mentioned during the trial, the family was informed on separate occasions that the now deceased gang affiliate may have played a role in the murder. He too, it is believed, was a passenger inside Lopez's stolen vehicle. You know that there were more than, than one or two, or maybe even three people in the car. How they got in the car, I don't know. I would, that, we, that we did not find out. Those two people, um, Paul Jackson and the other person who was captured from the canal um, will not will not reveal any names, will not talk. Mr. Lopez, what is your feeling towards the accused? I know he has since been exonerated, but what is your feeling towards this individual? I still I still have no ill feelings towards him. 
I mean, um, he's a young man. I would only hope that he look back now, think of what happened, if he did it or he didn't do it, and try to reform his life and try to, to be a meaningful person within our society. Reporting for News 5, I am Issa.